our lesson for today is on naming acids. So let's talk about exactly what an acid is. Acids are ionic compounds that have been dissolved in water, but all acids will begin with a hydrogen. Um, all acids formulas will begin with a hydrogen. They must be aqueous, so we use the symbol AQ, and all that means is they are dissolved in water. Think of aqua, agua, water. AQ means something has been dissolved in water. So acids are always going to be understood to be aqueous. We have binary acids. Here we see this word binary again. And we also have oxy acids. But let's first look at our binary acids. Binary acids are ionic compounds that start with a hydrogen and they end in a halogen for the most part. So the halogens, remember, are your group 7A elements. So you'll have hydrogen plus a halogen. Those halogens, if you look down to the group 7A, is fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine are the ones that we see here. This, the uh, format that we use to name these binary acids, we use the format hydro blank ic acid. And in this blank, we will put the root name of our halogen. So fluorine, root name is fluoro, chlor, brome, io. So let's look at these. Hydro blank ic. So here we see a binary acid. They all start with hydrogen and they end in a halogen, chlorine, fluorine, bromine, and iodine. So this one will be named hydro, and then chloric, notice they end in ic, acid. I always remember acid names end in ic because you oftentimes um, associate acids with these as being very dangerous, and they're not necessarily dangerous, but chloric, I think acids are icky, they end in ic. This one will be called hydrofluoric acid. Hydrobromic acid. And then finally, hydro, this one always sounds kind of funny. Iodic acid, got iodine, I O D I C. Notice they all in an ic, all the acid names in an ic. These are our binary acids, so hydro blank ic acid for each of them, hydrogen plus a halogen. Those are binary acids. Then you also have a group of acids known as your oxy acids. So from the name, oxygen is there. So you still have your hydrogen. They all start with hydrogen. They have oxygen and a third element. Basically, they're going to all contain your polyatomic ions, some of the ones that we've learned recently. The ones that end in eight are the ones we're going to learn. We're only going to learn four oxy acids right now. <clears throat> you just kind of got to memorize those, guys. The first one is, common use of it is battery acid. We, we call it battery acid for uh, a common name, but it's sulfuric acid. The formula for sulfuric acid is H2SO4. Notice it has the sulfate ion in it. There you see SO4 and the negative 2 got crossed down here. Hydrogen crosses 1 down outside. Sulfuric acid. These do not contain the, the prefix hydro. The next one is nitric acid, HNO3. Notice it has nitrate in it. Common use for this is used in the production of rubber and plastics, also in some fertilizers and um, medications as well. The third one is phosphoric acid, phosphoric acid, H3PO4. You see phosphate in phosphoric acid. This one is commonly found as an ingredient in soft drinks. It's like a flavoring, it's a preservative or a flavoring additive. And finally, vinegar is the common name for this. You have it, all of us have it in our kitchens, I'm sure. But it's known as acetic acid. It's got the acetate, C2H3O2, the acetate ion in it, HC2H3O2. Notice all of these still begin with the hydrogen. They end in a polyatomic ion, sulfate, nitrate, phosphate, and acetate. These names end in ic, just like the other acids. The difference, though, is they do not start with hydro. So your oxy acids do not use hydro. So just think of it as kind of like the eight changes to ic. Sulfate is sulfuric acid, nitrate, nitric acid, phosphate, phosphoric acid, and acetate, acetic acid. The lesson for today. All third period planning teachers, please report to room 2.